know, how yeah. just our state alone is going to have to come up with, I mean, just our county oh alone God. is going to have to come up with about 450 we, we're EOCs. We're around the same, and we're around the same, yeah. We're and that's where I come back to one of the pieces of this, and again, it is not addressed in language in 133, but it must be part of the study and the conclusion is really what I'm saying, is alternative assessment. That, to me, will open the door. If yeah. we do not have alternative assessments, then it won't matter what course we try to come up with, because at this point, they are all saying they must fit this animal. Well, and they said every <clears throat> course is going to have an end of course. Right. Yet the state itself has only been able to... That was something that I, I was explaining over here. I, I think it was Hamilton was asking me that because he was, he was surprised when I meant. I said, I believe it's about a third or less of the courses that we need the state is providing the EOCs to. Is that about right? Yeah. And I... And, and, and Ms. Nobles, if you can correct me, I thought um, Mr. Simon had mentioned that the cost was a minimum of about 20,000 plus per course is what that he, I mean, for, per test, that, that what they were talking about? To develop or to, to develop? To develop. Um, now, here's an interesting thing, by the way, just think, you know, if we go back to that entrepreneur, we had an entrepreneur conversation earlier. The state has said, if you are a district that agrees to partner up or you come up with an EOC, um, that's great. We love it. But you will be mandatorily required to put that in the database and share it with other districts who do not have to spend any time, money, or effort to come up with a course. So to me, while there is a side of me that says, well, shouldn't we be all sharing? and Shouldn't we live in a hunky-dory life? And on the other hand, we're spending the money to do it. We're trying to make that effort, and yet there are districts that can just sit there and wait to see who develops the other courses so that they can do that. I mean, I, we have tried to partner up. We have a consortium that we have partnered up to help develop those so that we aren't duplicating work and that we're trying to, but the state's not coordinating that. That's something we're, they're leaving to us to do on our own. So. Then we have to look for something, for, for instance, if we have something that is not being developed by anybody, you have to find something that could, and then it's up to the district to look at that assessment and the standards and see if it really matches the standards of the course that you're trying and to And I guess for, for, the, for the sake of this task force, are we in agreement, and I'm, I'm asking from the educators to, to, to confirm or deny this, of two things today that I, I think that if, if I were to draft a letter in response to different things. I would say, and I'm, I'm, a, I'm asking for you to echo and, and give me um, assurances on this, that one, this is not about courses. We are asking for flexibility of, or, or, or determinations of standards. That's one. And two, that alternative assessments is critical to the end results of being successful for all students. Right. And that's what I'm and hearing from you. Anyone. So, if the EOC is going to change, you know, because we have students who are very bright, they take AP courses and we find they cannot pass that reading exam. Still, and so they have an opportunity to take a, an ACT ACT. or an SAT to get the help. But if they don't pass that test, and some do not, they do not get. Well, I was going to say, do we know off the half, uh, top of our head of those that don't pass, let's say, an EOC or an FCAT, um, I guess I'm referring to FCAT, and they take an ACT, how many of those? Last year, I think I had like 30 kids that got their high school diploma because of taking an ACT. But how many still didn't pass the ACT? And the grades and concordance scores again. So, and, and here's the other thing, we didn't talk about it, but, but we, we have talked around it. My, uh, also part of a, a solution is that I have asked, does remediative courses, particularly I'm talking about remediative reading requirements, could we 
have those requirements met in CTE courses? We do. We do that now. We do. Our level okay. Well, I'm thinking of our level one. Right now, no. It's, it's only level, level twos. Two's not level ones for those.